everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a tutorial on this look which I've posted a few times on my Instagram and a bunch of people requested a tutorial. So here it is for you guys. Um, I kind of switched up things again. Um, a lot of people said that my past tutorials like in the past few months have been a little bit too professional and uh, that they kind of preferred my old school type of videos. So I figured why not you know do these kinds every once in a while uh, for my just I was surrounding area for my little room and uh, yeah it's a little bit more cozy and um, I mean it's easier for me to film these videos too like this than you know having to set up my backdrop and everything but yeah you be the judge and also tell me do you prefer you know tutorials in which you have a really big close-up of my eye and then I do my makeup all like that or you prefer this little bit more you know not too close um, tutorials because sometimes people say that if it's too close up you can't really see what it looks you know compared to the face and everything so I don't know just let me know what which tutorials you prefer and I'll keep doing them for you guys and um, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and now let's go ahead and get into the tutorial So I already applied my moisturizer and for that I'm using my uh, Bioderma moisturizer. I'm going to link all the products below. And then I'm using my MAC Fix Plus Spray all over my skin as a base and also my Stigma Brilliant Cream on the tops of my cheekbones. This is very similar to the MAC um, cream color bases. Uh, they're very shimmering and it's really going to provide a lot of glow and also warmth. So I'm using it underneath my foundation to emphasize the glow we're going to be emphasizing even more later. After that I'm using my L'Oreal True Match foundation in N2 and this is probably my favorite foundation ever and I'm using the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush to apply it because it's really giving you that kind of flawless finish without looking too cakey so I really love that brush and then after that I'm going to go back to the Sigma cream and my Sigma 3D HD precision brush so the smaller brush of the Kabuki one and I'm just applying it again on the tops of my cheekbones to give back some shimmer. Yeah, we dressed in black, head to toe now although I want a very shimmering finish on my skin, I do want the center of my face to be matte because if you don't mattify it, it can look a little bit oily. So I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in N5 I believe, on the, just on the center of my face. And after that it's time for the fun part and that is the bronzer. So I'm using my L'Oreal Glam Bronze and a very big brush, this is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. So just on the sides of my face, as you can see I'm very heavy handed with the bronzer because we're not actually going to be applying any blush so this is really going to be the focus of the look so I'm just bronzing my skin all over and then I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and for that I'm using my Clinique air, air finish or airbrush concealer and it's a really beautiful highlighting concealer and then to highlight the whole face including the eyes I'm using my nylon eyeshadow from MAC so I'm using the setting brush from Real Techniques to apply it anywhere where I apply the Sigma Brilliant Cream and also on the bridge of my nose in the corners and my cupid's bow well, I think we better go seriously we better go said the feds he know then for my brows I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and also the Brow Design Pencil in Dark Brunette and I'm just going to sculpt my brows but you do your thing, whatever works for your brows, don't change it, just stick with it. So for my eyeliner, I'm using my L'Oreal So Couture Black Liquid Liner and these felt tips are so much easier than any liquid liner and I usually start on the outer corner and then work my way in but you're gonna see that I don't go all the way in because that will close up the eyes so I usually just start past uh, my iris that's just the most flattering shape on my eyes but you do what feels good for you and then just make it you know nice and perfect and crisp however you like it and then the next step is going to be to highlight underneath the wing. The reason why I'm doing this is basically just to make the line more prominent and sharp and that area a little bit more lighter and it just ties the whole look together and it's really a good trick to do when you're doing a wing liner. And after that for the pop of blue I'm first starting with my L'Oreal Coal uh, eyeliner in my waterline and also on my lower lash line. This shade is called Aquatic Blue and it is just the most beautiful beautiful bright turquoise blue. And I'm also going to apply it underneath the wing again to make the line more sharp and also the blue a little, a little bit more visible. 
Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and I'm just going to smudge out the lower lash line with an angled eyeliner brush and this is going to make the line a little bit more softer but also uh, more pigmented. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes and for that I'm using my Tarte Lash Curlers that I love and use all the time and also a few coats of my Revlon Grow Lashes Mascara in black so I'm applying it both on my top and bottom lashes because sometimes when you apply a eyeliner to your lower lash line it can cover a little bit the lashes and make them disappear a little bit so just give back some color to your lashes and I'm also going to add some falsies today I'm using my Lumink Lashes in the style of Spring Beauty and these are very natural they blend in with the natural lashes so easily and um, they also give a little bit of a kick on the outer corners which is always fun and um, usually I just place them on and then use my tweezers to kind of squeeze them to my natural lashes and this just makes them look so natural and beautiful and I love these and then the final step is going to be to apply your lip product. Today I'm using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade uh, Buenos Aires. And this is just kind of a soft coral, very natural. I really love the formula of these. And then to add a little bit more depth to the lips and also a bit of shine, I'm using the Brilliant um, Pigment Cream from Sigma to the center of my lips. And this just adds a little bit of shine. But it's totally not a necessary step, I just happen to like doing this. And then you're actually done with the whole look. So much for watching please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer because that way you won't miss any of my new videos and if you'd like to follow me on twitter or instagram or like my facebook page the links are going to be right at the top of the description box below this video and i'll talk to you guys soon in my next one bye